We will call to order the Account and Finance Committee meeting April 13th. It is, we'll say, 3 o'clock. Um, is there anybody that wants to present that has time constraints that need to go sooner rather than later? I will just let you know Ed Harris had a funeral to go to, and we could just leave him till last. And if he gets here, he gets here. If he doesn't, he sends his apologies. But he did say, please uh, refrain from cutting my chemical line on him. He said that is greatly much more expensive. Right. Very quickly, you know what we're here today? We're here to hear everybody's presentation. These are unvarnished numbers. We haven't changed them. We haven't modified them. We haven't fixed them. We haven't <coughs> done anything to them. And everybody's just going to say their piece and do what you all have to say. Okay. All right, well, because first we'll skip administration. Um, Chief. Always first. Police Chief. Come on up. <coughs> really first, huh? Yep. That means you get to leave early, too. I don't get to stay? You can. I never hear the rest of it. <laughs> well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, I know you have a copy uh, that Jackie gave you of kind of a highlighted uh, spreadsheet um, just to talk about a few items that you'll notice in the police department, some of the major items that we might be looking at. Do you want to just ask questions or do you want me to review them? Go through them. Just, you don't, okay. work, not word for word, but just sure. give you brief. Okay. Okay. Um, salary and wages. I know we talked about this in the current budget year, and uh, I also would like to propose it for the next budget year, increasing our staff from 12 full-time officers to 13. Um, and we're currently at? 12. Now we're at 12. Currently, yes. Yes, and we'd like Does to go to. the position you're advertising? That includes the position we're advertising. 12 gotcha. includes the position we're advertising. So we 13 <laughs> includes. So the position we're advertising would be the extra position that you're advertising. Yes, okay. yes. It also uh, includes uh, two stipends for supervisory positions. I'd like to promote two officers to the rank of corporal to help with overnight um, shift uh, supervision. Uh, also uh, provide a, a stipend for an animal control position, uh, at least part-time, if that's a position that the council decides to, to go forward with. I'd like to at least have that in the budget and be prepared for it. I'd like to keep the dispatcher's salary and wages in the budget. Uh, dispatcher uh, Rothgib is going to continue working with us uh, and will retire just uh, short of uh, January 1st of 2024. Uh, the additional remaining funding would help with the addition, additional police officer's position and also a supplement for the secretary who will be uh, taking on the uh, responsibilities of a receptionist also. And in addition to what she does, she'll be doing what Barbara does as well. Uh, building maintenance, I uh, would like to replace the key lock that's at the front door that we have. All of our other existing doors have a, um, a pass key or a, a key fob uh, to get in and gain access. Uh, I'd like to do away with all the keys and, and that the current, the remaining door is the front door. So I'd like to replace that so all the doors match and are uh, controlled by a key fob. So you already have the system there. Oh, the system's already there. And three other doors are already operating under that system. Mm -hmm. And uh, one surveillance camera in the hallway near the evidence room is what I like to add. Uh, youth programs, I just I think we're going to ask to increase it by $3,000 just to accommodate the annual neighborhood cookouts. And the larger category, machinery and equipment, uh, includes the purchase of two police vehicles. Uh, we would like to purchase a drone. Um, to assist in criminal investigations, missing persons, and that's a cost of $6,500. Uh, we also would like to purchase two license plate readers. Uh, certainly we could use a lot more than that, but we'd like to do a trial run with two. It would be a total of $5,000. And uh, we would replace them at two, place, two positions within uh, the town, and that would potentially help us to identify uh, vehicles that would leave a crime scene if you had an abduction or you had um, a crime that you had a description of a vehicle only. Well, there was a certain color, uh, maybe it had a particular bumper sticker or sticker in the window. You can search by a lot of different categories and maybe get lucky and find that vehicle. All right. Um, and the last item there uh, would be purchasing a compartment for the uh, current pickup truck that we have on order uh, for animal control uh, would be a 
temperature controlled box to install there. Again, that's if council approves that position, I'd like to be prepared to accommodate your needs for that. And that's uh, what that money would be used for. And those are really the highlights that, that we're targeting. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer those. I don't see anything absolutely crazy. Um, you mentioned in here um, dispatcher's wages. I think all along we had said that we would be agreeable to keep that money within the department just be reallocated wherever. At least that's been my thoughts and opinions. Mm -hmm. I kind of just uh, wanted to remind you. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Politely. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, how much, was yes, your, uh, how much is your budget for these neighborhood cookouts? Uh, approximately $2,000. Uh, we're uh, roughly $400 per cookout. So you want to increase it to 3500 right? Well, uh, we have $2,000 in our youth programs now. And I think I asked to go to 5,000. Okay. So that should accommodate the, that need. Mm -hmm. And our, the first bullet point, increased budget by 47,000. That, that's just for, that's not increasing the starting salary. That's just increasing one position, correct? Uh, correct. That's, add, the, add that's the current starting salary uh, once an officer completes the academy. We currently have one application, but uh, 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 several, multiple have gone out, uh, just haven't come back yet. Gotcha. Okay. So we're, 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 we're optimistic. All right. Okay. Any other I don't think so. Mm -hmm. so it's all a yes? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, all right. Thank you. Yes, sir. We'll go to the next chief in line, Mr. Tomer. Good evening, or afternoon. I'm not used to being here this early. Um, Budget-wise, uh, just a, a couple things about uh, the financials of the fire department. Um, as you know, the, the town of Blackstone supports us significantly, but we also receive funding from Nottoway County that goes directly to, the, well, it comes to the fire department, and then we stroke a check and then give it to the town. Uh, last budget year, that was for $108,000 that was uh, from the county. This year, we're hoping to get an 8% increase in their cost or donation to the organization, uh, bringing that to even more money. We've also asked for $5,000 um, line item for maintenance of the aerial truck once it gets here. So we would still utilize our budget but we would also be able to use the county as well um, to provide general maintenance on the aerial device since it, the goal is a, a county-wide response vehicle. Um, we also bill for service. Uh, we only bill for motor vehicle accidents and structure fires. We don't bill unless you're a commercial for false alarms. And uh, to date, that's brought in $97,000. That's since uh, 2016 we started that. That money sits in capital and is used for big purchases. Um, I want to say the last time we used it was Engine 3. We liquidated that account. And then before that, when we upgraded our chief vehicle, we liquidated that account. So out of our budget request, a lot of changes that are in here are based upon just really getting us to par with our expenses. Uh, to utilities, our telephone, uh, there's a second page to this that's not on there. Um, you don't have anything. One page, right? <laughs> Um, our utilities, which are uh, voice over internet phones, um, our, our phone bill is outrageous. Um, <laughs> From, are we making that many long distance calls? It's not, it's free because it's all voice over internet, it's the service. So special with um 
it, the one thing I do like about it is voice over internet. The officers have a, a voicemail box. I can make a phone call from the fire station on my personal phone. So voicemails, everything goes directly to me and to all the officers. Um, other than that, it's a telephone. But we use CARES money, as did the town, to get the system installed, get the fiber to the fire station. It's just a very expensive. Correct. We have to continue to pay for it. Is it the internet bill for the fiber itself that's the expensive part, or just on? That's through Chantel, correct? You took, so if I'm not mistaken, you took. They had to so run it. So you're saying five thousand dollars a month. You're saying roughly five thousand dollars a month. Just for them to be able to have a phone through, which I have, like for the Bartyman, I don't have a phone line. I just go through a Google app and it automatically. And that's, it sounds like it does the same thing, but we're in the contract. Yeah. yeah. I think it's something, something to look at. Yeah. 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 Cause 600 bucks a month. And, and why we're not all quick. under one, it adds up quick. one blanket. Yeah. You know, as, as everybody's using it. Yeah. Just, I think we get like a bulk deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so food for thought. Um, you but mark I'll that, mark that in your notes for in two years. To <laughs> revisit that. Obviously can't name her in a contract. It doesn't matter. So off of a, a budget, uh, I once again am trying to get bump the fire chief salary up. Uh, last year I did request um, going from twenty seven to ten thousand. We did go up, uh, I believe twenty five or thirteen hundred last year. Um, the The position of fire chief, regretfully, is nonstop. Uh, it takes a lot of time, and uh, at some point, I I feel. As we expand and continue to expand, this is going to continue to grow. Um, in reference, when I uh, pushed for this last year, uh, Farmville Fire Department hired their first fire chief for Farmville, and their uh, salary was, was starting at 67000 for that position. So we're very fortunate to have 56 members now currently on our organization, and we have a strong leadership team. Uh, but I, I, I feel future-wise you're going to see some growth within the organization, possibly EMS, ambulances. I think this is going to completely become a full position at some point moving down the road. Um, second request was an uh, increase in our first responder medical supplies. We've uh, outfitted two additional vehicles as first responder licensed vehicles. With that comes equipment, with that comes preventive maintenance, so we'd like to just bump that up 1,500. Um, fire software upgrade, I got confirmation today that the county is signing the contract, so we're gonna be moving forward with uh, the county paying for this completely. So I'm hoping I could possibly strike this line item out of our budget. Um, they are gonna cover our complete Every agency in Ottawa County, they're doing the record management system for moving forward. Currently, we're paying just under 500 bucks a month for record management. Um, insurance, I believe that went up 5,000 based upon renewals. Um, training and equipment, we just want to go up 1,000. We're at 9,000 now. Just want to bring it up to 10,000. More people, more training. We're currently holding a, hosting an EMT class in-house now. Um, a lot of them are utilizing grant funding for the class, but we, uh, we're trying to bring in an electric vehicle fire class in. That class itself is a few thousand dollars, so we're just trying to make sure that we provide adequate training and support the volunteers. 
Uh, building maintenance, uh, requesting an increase of 2,500. Our building is 21, going on 22 years old now, just trying to give it a little TLC. And capital, I've included um, replacement of our geothermals and HVAC units. I, I foresee at some point they're going to be croaking, um, being there 20 plus years old. So I, I just want to get ahead of the ball game. Station needs new floors in the administrative side. Uh, paint, there's just small floors aren't small, but there's TLC that needs to be done with the building to make sure that it continues for another 20 plus years. Um, I think we were very fortunate when we built it. Now some of the newer stations going up are over $7 million, and I believe we were at right at 1.4 when we built um, the fire station in 2020. Let's see, small tools and equipment, we're just, stuff costs more, ultimately. Uh, so hopefully, budget-wise, it's without any increase of county funding, it's about a 12.4% increase in the budget is what we're asking for. And if the county does come through with the additional funding, that'll bring it down to 8% or 10% uh, of a budgetary increase that we're asking for. Yep. Farmville, is that a volunteer fire department? They, and they, and they, and so we should be they're, thinking about this down the road one day? Correct. Uh, um, they're volunteer. They have, um, they have paid staff in there now. And just like South Hill, I believe they have some paid staff in there. Um, so. The administrative side, they've got some paid staff. Yeah. To do all the daily paperwork. It's well, I'm sure it's like any other level of government. It's becoming more and more complex it's, with more and more forms to fill out and train in and, and stuff. I'm it, just curious. I'm mm -hmm. just curious. Yeah, it's pretty much every day I guarantee you I have a communication with the the staff. I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a full-time job that facilitates me doing this. <laughs> hey, tell me about it. Um, <laughs> I, am, I am too. My boss so, is a little tough to work Yeah, I, I could understand. could understand. Um, the only thing I didn't see looking through this packet real quick was uh, hydrants. So I, have, I haven't made any changes or additions to the flow testing is what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 That, that, that was part of our capital line that we all put together. That we've been talking about at committee levels and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So after today, so you know, then we'll start punching stuff in what we can and can't afford to find out what their priorities are. And then we'll see how balance, close to balance we can get. Okay. okay. Right. I have not included, I haven't changed anything from what. Submitted. Okay. That's all I got. All right. all right. Thank you. Mr. Martin, Street Department. Tell he's not as formal as the past two. He doesn't have a background. Yeah, ain't, no, ain't a whole lot. <laughs> Um, street department wise is pretty much cut and dry. Basically just whatever we budgeted last year, we moved it over to this year, um, increase wise. Um, basically highlights was basically just salary increases there, um, 3%. Um, did do add some stoplights in some more cameras at, um, eighth and West Simpsons road down there. Last year was budgeted 24,000, which took care of didn't really have new church street and the post office down here, but obviously with the construction down here at 8th Street and West Central Road, we had loops in the road and of course they all got dug up and everything else. So it's basically running on a timer, which is not efficient. So um, to put some new cameras in there, you're looking at about 12 grand cameras. And there is the 8th Street side always trips right. before. And it won't be nobody there. there. So it yeah. shouldn't it shouldn't trip at all. If ain't nobody there, it should just be green on Main Street and keep the traffic going. It right is now. bizarre, Mr. Chairman, because when I go to work, I get in the car and as soon as I move the car the light turns green. Yep. And then I get up to the get you get had up to special it. Privileges, didn't you? Well no, because when I get there it's red <laughs> and then I have to sit there and wait forever. I'd yeah. rather be red and then my turn you know, but uh I wondered what was going on with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, the loops got ground so up when they That one's on time or not not basically it's on a timer. Okay. Now. Yep. It's got a constant call on Eighth Street and West Simpson's Road side because there's nothing there for detection wise as far as video or loops and didn't the have a constant call, then Eighth Street would never turn green. Correct, till somebody pulled up. Gotcha. 
and that's the problem, man. It's really about to only increase there. I mean, everything else is cut and dry, about the same as last year, as far as street department and all. So. Yeah, Chief Kuzmiak, when you were talking about your cameras, would they mount to a stoplight or some, a pole like that, or? They're in the car, right? I think no, he's. No, they're actually. They're on a pole. The yeah, they're stationary. Yeah. Sounds it sounds like they're stationary. The but they're on a pole, though, right? Like the one they got in Petersburg. They are on a pole. Yeah. I'm not sure if they can mount to the front okay. there. Just out of curiosity, I was just curious. I know, because I got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a ticket Brown through the camera. Brown and Maine, are they a camera? Or was Brown and Maine? Um, Did we have any? Did we? Sorry. Yes, they are cameras now. So it's just, I mean, we, we say we're putting up cameras, it's not like, you know, you run a red light, you get a ticket type yeah, thing, you know. It's just a basic motion, correct. motion yeah. sensors and I all. Up, I pull up going down on my motorcycle all the time because I don't trip, so it's just curious. Oh, I got you. It should pick you up. Back when the, back in the day with the loops, it was kind of kind of hectic if there was loops in the road, which is a, almost a, de a metal detection device. Motorcycles, it was hard to trip those. But the video, it should be a zone there. When you pull into a zone, it should pick you up. So is it not picking you up, you think? Sometimes. Sometimes if I want to go straight across, it won't, but. There's okay. a Virginia law in place that says if I wait more than three minutes or two light, three light cycles, I can run it. So, <laughs> Virginia law, I can pull the code up. <laughs> tell, that, tell that to Chief. Yeah. So um, current staff is fine. Yep. No right. question anybody new. Nope. Got a couple all, guys all retiring. Works, all the work's getting done. Yep. Yeah, we got so. plenty of help. So. We do. Dan just said we got a couple guys retiring that uh, have a lot of seniority. Correct. And. Um, so we're going to be probably replacing them. Hope we can get we them to give us plenty dates. of notice. Huh? Hope we can get them to give us lots of well, notice. If we have exact dates, we probably need to start. They're with, working on it, though, now. Yeah. yeah they're they really working to, on it. They're working hard. With, uh, yeah. VRS, Jennifer, yeah. Jennifer yeah. Yeah. So we could lose a lot of seniority. So, and I'm not sure we have people ready to step up, so we may have to pay people on call uh, yeah. to get that done. But uh, we're going to be in a tough spot if we lose all those guys at one time. All right. Do you want to go ahead and jump to your um, where you do sanitation too? Uh, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, I mean, that's the same thing there. You can see the well, it's cut and dry just with salary increases. It um, not really a whole lot there sanitation wise as far as garbage truck fill up. Is that we do we need one now? We just we bought one two years ago. Okay, so we probably got another two years before we need to get in the process of looking at another. You anticipating hunting anybody? Garbage? Yeah, we went up on the street. Street or garbage, no, we're fully staffed where we need to be. Like I say, unless somebody retires or quits or leaves. Or what about, it's going to be the, are we ever going to think about the recycling or talking about the cardboard baler? Or is that just a deal we need to just kind of I'd surplus the baler it. and? I'd love to sell the baler. I mean, that's up to you. I mean, I don't have any ties to it. Talking to Dan, we had talked about sending down the power down there, but it's going to be a lot of cost to get the three-phase power down there, or the power that needs to get down to that. And that bomb, there's a slab down there behind Jericho's mm -hmm. warehouse. Um, there was some talk about putting it in the uh, parking lot at Bevel, but you talk about a mess. No, that's no. messy. Well, that that parking lot's really already trashy enough with behind. the dumpsters being in the middle. Um, Right now, I just don't. I mean, we sold last batch of bales where we had 10, 12 down there. That's fifty-seven dollars. Yeah. Well, I mean, in my opinion, I think we need to look at surplusing the thing. If you would uh, take mercy on me and the guys and, and anybody else, they're needing it sitting and aging and it's sitting, less value. Yeah, sitting in the, in the weather. I'll put it on the surplus list for for uh, money. Go ahead. I, I personally think it's better off to go ahead and yeah. add it to the list. It's just not a. Money maker. When we first started doing it, we'd get 50, 100 bucks for a bale. Four bales for fifty-seven dollars the last time. And I think Mary sold them on the Gov Deal. Gov Deal. Yeah. So when just some local person, you know, come up and get a deal, we had to load them and get them out of there. So it's just a, it's a recycling is just something. If you're gonna do it, you gotta put money to it. It's not gonna take any of the places. Dan, you got enough money for garbage carts, yep. whatnot, all that stuff. Some of the ones we push around look like they're pretty antiquated. One thing you probably see, we bought a bunch of dumpsters this year in anticipation of these hotels and restaurants and stuff coming. So we got a yard full of dumpsters, so we're probably going to have to buy dumpsters this year. Good. So you'll probably see dumpster line come out of the We charge dollar for dollar for those, right? Correct. Dumpster line. Okay. There's just a little pencil to get, and I think we bought 10 of them. 
three cents, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars fine dumpster. We've got a yard full of them. And, uh, I don't think we need to buy any of this year unless we have a big one. All right, so if you skip three or four more pages, it'll go to the electric while Dan's up here. And you can yeah, looks a little different now. Um, cause we've got a big increase coming this year from Dominion, of course. I mean, I think we're looking about a $360,000 increase. Uh, so I already feel like we'll give some from the air percent. Well, we'll have to do. 2.4 is the preliminary base increase. However, it'll go down. You, well, no, that's the base. I don't, I've never seen that go down. Uh, but the fuel adjustment fuel is a changes line, a lot. That, that is from expected to go down dramatically this year yeah. with the January estimation it's going to change. And this is April. We should be getting a, num a, a fixed number change on the fuel adjustment this month in April. So. And it's, it's projected to go down. Mainly the problem because is the fuel adjustment will go up again next year though or halfway through the year then you have to and your you base do. never goes down. Correct. I mean, you're still holding that 14% increase. It's going to go up, yeah. Yeah, what well, the big increase with Dominion was I think they charge us $15 a KW now and they're going up to $18 a KW and that's that's where the big increase comes at. When we were buying three dollars a KW and buying eighty-five, ninety thousand KW a year. And I mean, obviously the town has to act as a business. We've got to at least pass through what being passed through. Yeah. We're not adding to it. We're not enhancing it. We're just passing it through. And, uh, and it ain't that over the next ten years. The electricity ain't going down because you got your Virginia Clean Air Economy Act by year. 2045 Dominion Appalachian Power has got to be all 100% renewable energy. So your fossil fuels will be no more by 2045. So um, it costs a lot of money to build solar farms and all that stuff. And but all Philip uh, Philip shared with me that they also hit us with the rate uh, decommissioning. Yeah, uh, that's part of your base. Yeah, rate, but rate I mean, hit you both ends. That's right. They shut a plant down, plant. you got to pay yeah. for it. When they build a plant, you got to pay for it. Mm -hmm. so. Getting rid of them. There's an accounting it's depreciation charge. Yeah. Like I do, lock the door. Yeah. All right. Renewables are very expensive right now. Now, um, what Thorman said, and he works at Dominion, so he, he, he should know more than the average guy. Uh, he said, well, in the long term, it may be better, but in this intermediate and short term, you pay for it. It's yeah. ugly. It's like putting up your house. You see all these people got sold at the house and all. Okay, yeah, you pay up front for it, but the payback is, what, 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road or something, you know. So, um, other than that, we got to do some catalyst testing at the peak generator plant. We got to estimate it's about $12,000. Basically, it's a catalyst converter on the exhaust system over there by EPA standards. We got to get tested every three years or something like that. So, um, they got to be tested and Generator plant had a, we spent a pile of money over this year with breakdowns and cleaning the fuel tanks and all that stuff. So increased that repair and maintenance over there quite a bit because we were uh, way off last year for repairs and maintenance because we went for a long time. We didn't peak shave as much now, but now we've gone back to the old days where we could peak shave six, eight times a month running generators and all. So just with the contract change and with Dominion and all. So um, I think last week Jason ran generators till what, 9 o'clock? One night, one night last week when it was hot, and then we, we don't really get. And we used to get compensated for those hours that they're running. We do. We still get paid, and what it is, it's, just, it's your KW. So we're generating three thousand KW. So and we're buying it at fifteen dollars a KW. So at your peak time, when you're running the generators, you're saving three thousand KW. So gotcha. three thousand times fifteen dollars a KW is a pretty good little chunk of change. Yeah. So and plus it's going up to eighteen dollars a KW. So. Um, Yes, yeah, not money in your pocket, but it's just savings, basically. Reduction in your reduction in light bill. So we, it's not coming out of our pockets, ultimately. I mean, no, you're not cutting the check, or they're not cutting up right. the check. Just reflected in your monthly bill. But if we wouldn't run it, then our monthly bill could be fifty thousand dollars higher, because I mean, every month. Plus penalty. Yeah, there is penalty. We've had Remember, that before. Yeah. Got ten, twelve years ago, we got yeah. penalized as one of those. We had it. Um, Dan, I had a request to for everyone to speak into the microphone by the way. So hey, that's good. Make sure you speak into the microphone. Clear. Testing one, two. Oh. Sorry. Um, yeah. And you got three journeymen, dollar fifty raise for Yeah, still got some guys in the program and all three guys in the program, step four and step five. And um, we got one guy's actually leaving us, so he was getting ready to go to step one, but
of course, we're advertised just for his position. Uh, but he's he's going back to work on the contract. Now. So, yeah, those will be three guys just going to step raises twice a year. So. Question? Any questions? Okay. Miller? Mayor? No, big, big capital project that we have for them is uh, the biggest capital project has. Uh, if Transformers ever show up, we we'll order a bunch of Transformers, so we've got $7,500,000 cost in Transformers. Uh, and two, Dan's doing a uh, program where he replaced breakers, and you're going to have to look at him and ask him exactly what each of these items We've already replaced. done the breakers. We've done the breakers, and now Regulator. we're doing regulators. Regulator. And so uh, the first regulators are paid for in this this current year. We've got the cash set aside for when it gets here. We have the cash. But there's three regulars, one per circuit. And so for two more years, there's a $98,000. Or this year, $98,000. Does this improve the transmission of a substation? If you also want to go by the substation and look, and you got it'd be three different sets of big round looking transformer thing. Those are the regulators. So three circuits, one, two. We're doing one this year, one next year, and one the following year. And we've already done the three breakers. So basically, it's going to be a, almost a brand, old, brand new substation for our equipment wise. So. In two more years. Yep, two more years. Correct. Basically, it's a brand new operation. If something goes down over there, there's going to be a lot of people out of power. So. And the regulator, does that regulate the voltage? It regulates the voltage. As the load comes in, as the load incre increases, you can be over there on a hot day and you can hear them clicking. They're actually stepping the voltage up. Because okay. the load increases out, out here, so your voltage drops off. So they compensate and step the voltage up to, to compensate for the voltage out in the system. So. Over my pay grade. <laughs> yeah. And, and one last thing. We have in this current year's budget a new bucket truck that has been awarded. Boom. I don't know when she's coming. We'll let August, September. That money would just be transferred over and yeah. Well when it gets here we'll do an appropriation Perfect. from one year to next year. I'm not even gonna put it in the budget. Um, but there's a bucket truck order. We have currently a hundred thousand dollars of cash that we've saved up over. And what is the cost of it? Hundred and seventy seven thousand. Are we financing the remainder? Financing the remainder. Okay. Okay. You know what? It's you, all cash. And but we only have a hundred set aside. Seven. We've got currently a hundred by July. July 1st, we'll have the rest of it set aside for the bucket, so it's okay. 100 cash buy. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have that all cash paid. And then there's a pickup truck that has been ordered. If you guys casually ever notice a really bad looking Dodge Green pickup truck, a lot of rust on it. The seat's gone in it, I Sheet believe. Truck, yeah, and uh, that is scheduled for replacement as well. The truck is ordered, uh, the cash is in hand, and that's our scrap fund, our vehicle fund, where we sell metal or Old bucket trucks or old garbage trucks. We and Dan wants that truck back, so <laughs> huh? Dan wants that truck back for him to drive. Dan can have the green truck back. Yeah. All right, that it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to the garage, Miss Mary. So for the garage, um, a lot like the bus, it's pretty cut and dry this year. Um, the only, well, of course, we have a salary increase for the 3% um, for both mechanics as well. I am hoping to have our head mechanic finally get this EVT certification um, under his belt in 24, now that we have a little bit more reliable help in the um, mechanics department. This will help with the um, fire. Right, so it'll allow him to work on the fire trucks, you know, as needed, and they can not have to mess with the warranty or anything like that. Um, so that's hopefully going to happen. Um, and then the event that it does, it's a dollar fifty increase in um, the head mechanic salary as well. Um, I did put a little bit more in the repairs and maintenance supply, um, just for a couple of like small tool replacements that the guys needed. Um, and we also were planning on doing a couple of extra lights in the back portion of the shop um, because it's not quite as bright as the front. So, um, other than that, that's pretty much it for the garage. And the, the capital is just, again, for the scanner update that we do every year, so it's nothing crazy. Either, so. I can answer your question just with Monday night. We're going to take observation to the bus shelters. We've got mm -hmm. five shelters in this current year's budget mm -hmm. and there'll be two shelters for next year 
Is that money drawn down already, or we, do we need to submit that to the state for a drawdown? It'll have to be submitted. Have you gotten re well? We've got the shelters. Have they been reimbursed? Yes. They mm -hmm. have been reimbursed, but yep. just to really and all of and the erection of them. Yeah, and all of the um, the B and B invoices that I've gotten so far, I've done the drawdowns for those. So everything's getting reimbursed Here's through their. Do. I've got all the even flats and okay. stuff. So Monday night, I'm gonna get authorization to see bids on concrete slabs, and then we'll get into that. And the, yep. the shelters been sitting there. Your plans that you're gonna get show seven shelters. We're only doing five this year because that's all was grant funded, but the drawing's already done for the next two. Right. All right. Do you want to, well, plus we've really kind of done all that. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask if you wanted me to kind of recap or anything. If anybody had any more questions added for the bus. Yep, I think we're good on that. If these two are good. I'm all good. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Water sewer, Mr. Andre. Come on down. Or, I actually skipped Jason, but I can get to him in a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> Didn't have much of an increase this time on, on, on a lot of stuff. Um, most of everything is dealing with meters. Uh, you know, we're going to radio read uh, now. How many books of those have we gotten already? Uh, I know book one, two, started on uh, three, did eight. Three heading? Okay. So, so, so one, one, one yeah. Okay. So we got the electrical department is actually doing the install on, on on that. So they're working helping with that. We appreciate that. <laughs> so we don't have enough guys in my department to do all that. Um, so yeah, that's what the most increase you'll see. You'll see the uh, water meters and uh, meter purchases and meter repairs, which is going up to try to, to make sure that the radio read software work properly. Uh, if we don't replace the registers, if we get question marks in them and don't replace them, radio read software that does not work. So we got to keep up with that. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing that I have. Other than water tank maintenance, we got a tank scheduled to paint out of the picket this year. Um, so you definitely see an increase there. Cost of paint, the paint costs more now. Hard, it was hard to get during COVID, and it hasn't changed. So. That 181 you see is definitely for tank number three out of picket. Um, I think that's the biggest thing I have. Pump stations, uh, we pretty much stayed the same. I haven't finished purchasing stuff for that. Um, we're trying to keep up with all the wear and tear that we're having every year from the INI. So we are setting aside parts, setting aside money to make sure that we can have stuff here to get it done. Um, what else I'm seeing? We, do, we had a little increase. We know I lost a couple guys. So we are trying to get somebody else in here to give us a little hand. How about? So who's currently with you? Anybody? One. One? Yeah. You need another? At least, at least another. We had four. Yeah, we had four. Fiscal year, All of them. Two. <laughs> one was one. one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, both were terminated. That's right. So you want two? That's right, one. So, yeah. So you asked them for two, though, right? Well, we, we can work with one. Let's get one to start. Yeah, we, we got to get one in start. here and get them <laughs> trained and try to get them going. Right. So, as long as. see that they don't like your department so much. I mean, is it because it's more work than they anticipated? Or? Well, a lot of people come in, they don't realize how much there is to do. How much there is to do yeah. at these pump stations and uh, dealing with sewage every every day. They probably don't want uh, to. Yeah, that's a lot come in and they frown on that. and. Well, the screens out. Right. They don't anticipate that kind of stuff. And when they get here, and I'm like, hmm, I don't know if this is really what I want to do. They'll hang on for a while. Yeah. But uh, they they look they look to try to find something else, most yeah, of them. We it. almost need, once they get here, take them immediately and start cleaning the screens out. And that way you don't waste your time with them. I mean, I hate to say. But, but I, this is what I started doing. Two months from it, so That's right. I actually see the people who want to come in and look at, or think about taking a job. Show, show I, I ride them around. Yeah, you need to. I, I let them see. It's not worth the time that you invest in them, <laughs> and then they wash up. That's Ideally, right. Ideally, there's four people. There's two crews, so you can do call every other weekend. Yeah. And what I've got to get away from, and the reason we even have three right now, is Andre can't be by himself. Yeah. He goes down to the manhole. You know, Andre can do it by himself, but he shouldn't. Oh, yeah. So if yeah. you put him in a manhole and he blacks out or there's like oxygen in there, and he's by himself, we got to have two people together. Yeah. It's just... The nature of it is like electric. you got to have a ground man and a bucket man. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, Audrey doesn't need to be angry by himself. It's a good way to get yourself hurt before it's falling too. That's true. That's true. So the uh, sewer gases can be noxious. All those kinds. So of you're things. getting some responses to your. Oh yes, okay. yes, yes. We are. We are. We're getting some. There's some of them just not qualified for the position. But yeah, we are. Yes. And I think uh, water mains, water mains, and maintenance. I know Dion will probably like this. We we're trying to make sure we get on these fire hydrants and get some of them repaired. We got some on uh, College Avenue that need to be replaced. So um, it's just not cut that they don't have the three uh, connections on it. They don't have the two and a half inch and a three on, on, on it to make it uh, to be able for him to use. So at Fort Pickett, we do have, oh, it's probably 50 that need to be replaced. That's another topic. That is another topic. So we're, 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 we're looking at trying to get some of those done as well, just a little bit at a time. Um, I don't think I did too much as far as small twos. I think I might have bumped it up a little bit. That's just for the half stuff to replace uh, pipe saws and miscellaneous tools that we need to make the job a little easier and safer. Um, yeah, I think that was it. I think the biggest things with meter purchase right now, try to get this radio read stuff out of the way. Uh, of the total number of meter or um, nodes, I don't know the proper term, but the MXUs? nodes that we purchased, how many are here? Is there enough to do the whole thing? We got, yes. We got all those. We have right at 2,000 MXUs here. And that's so probably. We're still working with the old meter. So what's uh, so what's the $7,000, $70,000 meter purchases? That's that's for the registers that I was telling you about. So the, when you get to what the old system we have now, mm -hmm. when you go link that MXU to the old system, if there is a question mark in that register, it was not work. Okay. So that's when we got to go around and start replacing those. Yeah. So we need to have those. Uh, we, that's a topic that Philip and I are probably going to talk about after this too. But um. and I'm determined to finish this project. And Dan said, "I'll believe it when I see it." So I'm <laughs> 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 five years ago. Yes. Yes. Um, we're three out of five books in. Yeah. As I understand from Ashley, and Brittany, correct me if I'm wrong, but three, three, three out of eight. Three out of eight. Three out of eight. One, two, and eight are done, and eight is out of picket with that piece. Mm, yeah, that's the smallest book out of all of them. So, good, y'all knocked out. Though. And that's the one that's hard, the hardest one to get into too. So because of the it seems logistics, yeah. There have been glitches, no doubt, but it seems like she ran the bills this month, and there were again some issues, and called back the census, and I think she's got it. Yeah, it was that was a little rough. So, uh, it's not been good. <coughs> all right. Any questions? What do you think? I think we'll go move to Ed to finish up that portion of the oh, it made chemical it. increase, yeah. which right. looks like it's pretty large. It's beyond large. Chemical, <laughs> and they have chlorine. Yeah, look at the price increase. Yeah. 3648 Hey, we got to go to making our own chemicals, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford this. It's it's border. It's not borderline. It's it's crazy. I just talked to a salesman Wednesday. He came by. I mean, you know, it, they just pass along the charge. I mean, sole source type thing. Or you, I shop it around. <laughs> yeah. No, the chlorine. The chlorine is the only people that sell that in this area is Jones Chemical. How? What kind? Do we buy it? Ton cylinders. That's the reason. If we had 150 pound cylinders, we could shop it around. But we'd be changing, I don't know, tanks. Yeah, every other day. So, and there's a little sheet in there that shows you just how much everything has gone up from last year to this year. And I'll be honest with you, I don't. I budgeted on the numbers that we have for now. They're probably going to continue to go up. I mean, but other than that, everything else pretty much. Stays. You got plenty of help? Yep. Yes, sir. Water tank bubbler? Yes. We're looking at putting one bubbler in to help with the THMs. I have to get with um, B and B. They have a system on their computer that'll show us where is the best place to put it. That was my second question. Yep, they'll show us the best place to put it. Yeah. How are they go about doing it? You figure out where the best thing for the bucket. Yep. About 120 grand. 120 ish. Somewhere in that area. 
They we test at the airport and then at the um, rescue squad building. They've been talking about adding more sample points to us as well. You know, they've been talking about that for almost five years now. And I, if they do that, the numbers are just going to continue to get worse. I mean, it's just the way our system is laid out, unfortunately. It's not a whole lot we can do short of the aeration. The aeration is supposed to reduce about 40%. So some people are, are you know, they love it. So Have you seen any decrease in numbers since we've done the <coughs> – After that time, one time in August, I showed um, – the shoot, I can't remember his name, but anyway, that one time we had those really extremely high numbers, and ever since then they've been back to normal. So I feel very sure it was something happened at the lab. The Office of Drinking Water tried to get us to resample because they were just absurdly high. Crews numbers were actually high in August as well, higher than normal. So in August is probably the highest quarter of the year. It is, and just so th these letters that we're having to pass out, it's to me it's ridiculous. We do this test once, four times a year, and we're still having to pass up. We may have to pass up letters again this time because of the water that was there in August. Because of the average. Because of the running average. And I asked them about that, and they said because we only tested four times a year, that's why you have to do a running average. So, Having, having the new aerator out at the reservoir. Has helped significantly. Really? Right. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yes, that's 100 percent done complete yes sir uh except for them providing documentation uh i think they we the work is done we're still holding the retainage because they got to turn some paperwork and until they do that we're not going to pay the retainage so we can check that paperwork out. so you know is confirmation on american steel mm -hmm. um, certain david bacon obligations on payroll and stuff like that so uh, they've got some things they got to turn in um and then monday night and we had applied for some grants, loan funds, certainly loan potential grants, and it all came in as grants. So we had that confirmed, and I've got a letter in the council packet, and I'll ask you to authorize us to accept it. And that'll just be straight up reimbursement because we've already spent it, including the money we borrowed at Benchmark. Borrowed it. And so that money will come back, we'll take care of Benchmark, and then we'll have. Do you think support. we could apply by any chance for a grant for this water tank area? Sure. I mean, we're going to get them, so we might as well. Investigate if there's stuff out there. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll talk to Wyland, one of the guys will see if there's any, maybe a 50% grant. Mm -hmm. Something's better than nothing. 120,000, you said roughly? Right, roughly. You got some engineering fees and stuff in there, so. Yeah. That'd be per tank. Yeah, yeah, per tank. Yeah. Y'all have any questions or? I don't. Nope. I'm, while you're here, I will tell you uh, uh, it is our capital intensive. Department, or I just hate to what they do. Probably has the most capital cost to it. Um, one of the things that I really do want to do, and I think it was accentuated a week or two ago when we had a small gas leak, mm. chlorine gas leak at the plant. So um, I would like to use that as kind of an impetus. Obviously, Ed had started the process. We've talked to Randy and Mac about costs, and we just hadn't changed it. But it's pretty antiquated the way we uh, did the pickup with the chlorine sample. I think before too long, uh, probably shortly after the beginning of the fiscal year, I'm going to go out and do more of a capital plan for water and sewer, fourth main and fourth drive, and prioritize one, two, three, four, five, six, and probably press forward, including uh, hydrochloric disinfection rather than a UV. Mm, well, we're using chlorine gas right now. Yeah. And, that, and the, you, the, I mean, the hypochlorite is going to be extremely expensive, too, because it's a chlorine-based product. So. I was going to ask if. I think it actually cost it actually cost more because it's more of a process to get it into the hypochlorite. Right, yeah. two breaths of the chlorine will kill you. So I mean, it's as a firefighter, I'm sure you know. Do y'all know? Do y'all have monitors that say don't go in that room? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes, sir, we do. And uh, the tank folks, the supplier was very prompt apparently. Oh yeah, they have my team and they got it filled off with a fairly small amount of music. Problematic. So we're going to be working on that. Andre's obviously got two or three priorities. Uh, we can bounce them around, go back and forth, but uh, sooner or later we got to sit down and say, my water line, fourth main, pump stations, and take on some fire. It's never ending. Hmm? It's never ending. Never ending. <laughs> By the time you pay for it, it's probably Needs to be depreciated out <laughs> the time it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Go back to airport real quick. Sorry, Jason. Thank you.
Jake said he was going to fund all the airport with his own private. Yeah, that's what I was going to just recommend. Is Jake? He's going to run home. Yeah. Mr. Almonds are running that show out there, buying all the gas, which is a good thing. Uh, now, airport, basically everything's pretty much the same, which we did have. We have had a big increase in sales in the past year, which is a good thing. I mean, we've been buying a lot of fuel, so it means we're selling a lot of fuel. So that's a good thing. Uh, but basically, the only change is we had the, the salary increase, but we do, we're trying to find somebody else that wants to take on this obligation to work the airport. That's like finding a needle in a haystack, apparently. Nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants money, apparently. But Philip and I talked about it. We were looking for some people. We're, it's you and Crane, correct? It's me and Jeremy Crane doing it right now. Um, so if we do find somebody, that will be another person. We'll, they'll get a dollar fifty increase to take on, take on that responsibility. And they will have some um, opportunity to get a considerable amount of overtime. And here lately, I've gotten a lot of overtime. Jeremy's been getting some overtime. Something we may need to look at is uh, increasing our DOD overtime charge. If we can do that, they may have to wait till contract time. But that's we're doing seventy-five dollars now for coming in to do a refuel after hours or whatever. Well, that's that's not even paying hardly one hour, and it's automatically two hours overtime to come in and fuel one aircraft. So uh, we need to maybe look at increasing that. We did spend a little bit of money at the fuel farm this year with Rebel Services. They got a lot of little small things straightened out for us. Um, I don't foresee any big problems coming up in the phys this physical year of maintenance-wise or having to do anything unless something completely goes to I don't know what, but I think we're pretty good shape. I don't know how privy, privy you are to some of the stuff we're doing, but we finished the airport apron paid out and everything's done. Uh, we're doing a little, a much condensed lighting project out there right now. That, uh, uh, I think we're getting out, I think in June was a memo I read from the guys and uh, uh, to improve some overhead lighting at the, at the apron mm -hmm. and then new solar going down the runway. But we've been bumping heads with the folks over at uh, Pickett about putting solar on their properties and all that sort of thing. So I think you will see in the project next year as a project in lighting, improving the runway. You know those old solar things? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll be doing some of that kind of stuff. That's probably the biggest capital. Uh, talking to Joe and Jake up there, I don't know, day before yesterday, talking about how can we or should we build some more hangars, things like that, to create more buzz, more gener energy, more fuel trips, more all that sort of thing. But uh, I think in the next 12 months, you'll see a lighting project get taken care of. We do got some probably looking into a little bit more maintenance of some of the hangers that are out there. I think by uh, talking to Jake and then we got some, some, of, the some of the doors in rough shape. Um, so out of how many hangers are out there? How many spots, rentable spots? Uh, I don't know, Jake, you got most of them. Six on the first <laughs> row and I think eight on the second row. All right. So out of those 14, how many have aircraft? 13. In I was just making sure we're not using them just for storage, just to say, or not I us. I think that's been done in the past. I think they're, they've got something. Okay. I had a request for a hangar today, and the gentleman didn't have an aircraft. And sorry. Gotcha. I want it to be used for what I mean. Okay. To be fair, I have four aircraft in one hangar for a while, so I'm still. <laughs> and I will tell you, and I told Jake this the other day, just to make everybody sit here longer, but 10 years ago versus today, what the airport looked like, is night and day between Textron being out I was there. I say a lot of that is doing, private. Investment. Even with the guards invested yeah. out there and fixing up those old hangars and an admin building, fire station, they're going to build a new tower. I mean, God, 10 years ago, that place was just dusty and some weed blown around on it. It really, it looks a lot different than UAV and what they're doing out there has a lot to do with all that. You know, they're picking up. We broke ground on a corporate hangar as well. So 70 by 70 hangar, be able to be able to rent it out for anybody who comes in King Airs or big private jets. Hopefully we'll be able to, a lot of those guys like to keep it out of the weather for the night. Hopefully we'll be able to add that service out there. And That's all I got. I got it? a question. Yes, yeah, sir. This job you're talking about, what is it called? Uh, aircraft refueler. Um, 
we have a contract with the military, obviously, and when they, they call through the operations center out there, they call the dispatch phone that we have, or they set up a PPR, they call it, pre, pre-planned arrival plan. They're coming in and on a Saturday or this afternoon and want X amount of gallons of fuel coordinated through me and then either myself or Jeremy Crane, because we're the only two that's certified to do it, will go out there and take care of what they need. Um, obviously, you have to be certified. There's a seminar you have to attend or you can do it online um, to become certified through uh, Titan Aviation is the one that does the seminars. And that's who we buy our fuel from is Titan Aviation. So that's basically what you're doing. I mean, it's $1.50 an hour, not why you're just doing a fuel. It's $1.50 an hour across the board. Across the board. So if he overtime. performs his regular duties, he gets $1.50 extra an hour because he takes on that responsibility. Oh, okay. Okay. But you've got to so, have a driver's license. You've got to have those things so you can be on call. And, and but when you're first starting off, you're not certified, right, so you right. got to get certified, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. You're not getting a dollar fifty until you get certified. Yeah. Yeah, you get, get certified. I sign off on it until – Ladies down here that they're good to go, give them the dollar fifty, and we go from there. Like you say, man, I don't know, cause I don't think nobody wants to work in Blackstone. I really don't. Uh, don't see. Overtime is where the dollar. I mean, it it, it is a lot involved. It's a lot of overtime. I mean, I spent two Saturdays ago. I was out there for nine hours straight. Oh, the young buck, I jump on. So (laughs) some people don't want to spend the whole Saturday at the airport. My paycheck, my paycheck don't mind it at all. That's right. Administration. Here we are. On the administrative side of things, really the, the biggest capital project or the biggest increase, obviously there's 3% salary increases. There are some other um, supplements or stipends that have been requested, and I think uh, Jackie noted those in the cover sheet. Uh, they're not included, but uh, the 3% is included. Uh, biggest capital project that we've got in administration this year is we want to fix or renovate these bathrooms here in the hallway. There, um, I wouldn't send Cameron in there. We got a nice contractor on staff. We that may be one of the solutions. It's a cinder block and concrete floor, so it's not like structural, but woo, the tile just needs to be taken up, and we need to put new new, partitions. new commode, new urinal, new sinks, new dispensers, all that kind of stuff. Maybe new lighting fixtures, drop ceiling, whatever we need to do, but. Uh, those bathrooms are a little frightening. Um, as far as capital projects that you're going to see in there that weren't touched on, this is some of these departments. Dion, obviously, the fire truck will be delivered. That's included in there. I think that number will come down a little bit on the fire side on the outlay because that one million nine forty also included uh, that eighty thousand dollar grant for the outfitting. Okay, so uh, I think after we punch it in, it'll it'll drop down to about a million eight hundred sixty thousand dollars for the total purchase of the truck. Okay. Um, one thing that we do need to think about is starting to put aside money. We tried it last year, and we had to cut it because we didn't have enough money, but we had to cut out a street sweeper, and we were going to put portions of, over a course of one or two, three years, uh, pay for a street sweeper. I haven't included any of that this year, and Dan had come to me last year, and street sweeper just because of age and, and the nature of it. Uh, um, the, the, it's wet, and it rusts, and it's got a lot of grit and sand and, and abrasives in there. Um, we talked a little bit about capital projects. I haven't punched all these in. Some are in. The aeration project is, is included. Um, some of the types of things we're going to be doing. And even if we take on no new capital projects next year, we get got a busy year because of the armory. Okay? That thing is going to be a monster. And I'm telling you now, we've got enough money in grant commitments to do the project, but I'm also telling you we're going to get in there and find termite damage, and we're going to find roofing damage, and it's going to be a change order. So I've got to be cognizant not to jump into too much stuff. Again, we have two pickup trucks ordered for the street department, one for electric, one for street. We have two police car orders, and we have a pickup truck ordered for the police department that could cross over as an animal control vehicle. That vehicle has already been a grant approved for it, 55 45s, 55 grant 45 loan, and the two additional vehicles that we've ordered. If you remember last council meeting, you approved a, an ARPA award or a, a, a COVID funding award for the police department, 153000 I think it was, and that's what Chief is using to, for his capital. So those, those two vehicles will be straight up. We covered our bases by still applying to USDA for the 55 45, and we can cancel that at any time. So you have a fire truck, a bucket truck, uh, two public works vehicles, and three vehicles actually in the police department that are ordered or anticipated to be here 
fairly soon. Um, we have been contacted by folks that are interested in buying uh, BB&T and um, have asked, gauged our interest in using 